Sorry, my video just got cut off. I was gonna say, you know what, too? This could also be a father figure who's like trying to sneak away from an unhappy family dynamic. There's like seagulls like flying around me. Yeah, this is like uh, an unhappy, I just saw the seagull poop. An unhappy family or a father figure who's trying to sneak away from an unhappy family dynamic and he's trying to do this very sneaky without anyone noticing by not fighting, by not trying to cause uh, attention or drama and conflict and things like that. So it's like this person is trying to sneak away. My cards keep trying to fly away. This person is trying to sneak away from this family dynamic to relieve himself from like some sort of prison or jail or whatever the case it is because he wants peace he could also have found a love somewhere else this is also somebody who with the hierophant in reverse they could be trying to go through a divorce or trying to sneak away or go through like a breakup or trying to break a contract but it's kind of like i feel like the reason why this person is only doing that is because in the beginning it's like if there was like some weird collaboration to like well if I had the collective's energy or manifestation or powers or abilities and I would do this with it right so it's kind of like they kind of teamed up to do something to you but that didn't work so now there's a, a father figure that's trying to sneak away unscathed right trying to get away at night trying to like separate himself from like a family dynamic that tried to hurt you and he's only trying to sneak away because whatever they were doing it didn't work out and now he's like well let me get out while i can right it's kind of like if i can get out right now let me try and get out we have justice on the fence justice on the fence it's like this person is trying to sneak away like they can't avoid this justice but they also don't want to get caught in the justice like they also don't want like to face justice like you can't go you can't not undo what you did and you also can't exactly move on with your life right now it's like this person is trying to like avoid karma this father figure or he's like he has to sit he's they're like there's no justice for him right now It's like things are in the balance. Things are hanging on the balance. The scales are not moving up. They're not moving down. He kind of just has to stay in this unhappy dynamic. It's kind of like it would be his punishment in a way. I'm not doling out punishments. I'm just saying, right? It would be his punishment to kind of like sit in misery for trying to do whatever they try to do to you. Right? So they can't exactly pay off this karmic debt and not be miserable right now. And they can't exactly escape this jail. Right? And they can't exactly, like... They have to kind of, like, sit and wait. In this sort of misery. Let me get these last four cards and I'm gone. Ace of Wands reverse, Ace of Pentacles reverse, the Star reverse, Five of Pentacles, yeah. So this father figure feels left out. He's, like, left out in the cold. He can't heal. There could also be an Aquarius involved, a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, uh, an Aries Leo Sagittarius involved, a Libra involved, a Gemini involved, a Taurus involved. These are all the majors. But these people, this father figure, this group of people, it could be a group of people like family members of yours, Ten of Cups reverse. They all feel left out from this healing, this blessing, being able to achieve their goals, wishes, and dreams from finances and like they have no passions they're blocked from all of this and it's stemming because they all went down the wrong path they listened to a false leader a false prophet and now they're all blocked their finances are blocked their wishes are blocked their dreams are blocked their health is on the line they can't heal they can't get any better if they're sick it takes them like two weeks to get over a cold even right ace of swords on the blo on, on the bottom of the deck and the Nine of Pentacles, that's because they all lied on a, on a financially wealthy, stable, happy, healthy woman who's growing things, who is in her health, her abundance, her wisdom, 
her glory. Ace of Swords reversed. They all lied on her. And that's all, you know, there's nothing that can be done. There's nothing that can be saved or changed. They kind of just got to sit in that until God, the Most High, says, All right, now you can move. And they can't move. Because God is saying, you got to sit in what you did. And that's all that can be done. That's what happens when you try to be like the judge on someone else's life. That's why God says, you don't have any business judging other people. Let me do that, right? Let me do that. It doesn't matter how someone is living their life or whatever the case it is. Unless they're actually physically hurting someone. Let me, let me rephrase that. If you're hurting innocent people, innocent children, innocent anybody just to hurt them and you have no real basis to do that then yeah you should be judged but in this situation they were judging and hurting and plotting and ploying and planning and scheming on someone thinking that it was the best thing to do because well I if I had their energy if I had their money if I had their skills if I had their passions if I had their abilities right if I had their wisdom if I had their knowledge if I have their gifts I would do this so it's like somebody took it upon themselves to kind of like be the judge of your own gifts and God's like you can't do that better than the collective because if that was the case then you would have it not the collective right right this is the reading i hope it helps bye